Hi, I'm Osiri Wisdom. Welcome again to 100 Days of Wisdom. Today is day 80, Problem Solving Skill 10, Emotional Intelligence and Evaluation. Emotional Intelligence and Evaluation. So now you have executed. When you execute a problem, you are going to see emotions rise and you also have the need to evaluate what you have done. So you don't just execute and turn your bank and go. No, you have to execute and emotionally, how are people reacting to it? And then also evaluate how right that is or which area I need to make improvement. So emotional intelligence is defined as your ability to identify, assess and control your own emotions and the emotions of others that are in a group is your ability to identify, assess, and control your own emotions, the emotions of other people, all right, and take these roles and responsibilities and make sure that everybody is on the same, you know, uh, course of action. That's emotional intelligence. So applying emotional intelligence in order to improve yourself and your team member, you must have the ability to think clearly. You have to have the calmness to be able to even identify them that their emotions are rising, their nerves that have been caught, their, their tensions are rising, and then you're able to respond to them accordingly. This is very, very vital, okay? This requires you to recognize emotions in yourself and others, and then, of course, you begin to manage those feelings, the expectations, and then channel those emotions into useful work. All right there are some emotions that can arise and then you channel them some you kind of help to suppress them some you help to give them a window where you can fly and go out so you have to know that human beings who are creatures of emotion emotion runs our lives and so as emotion runs our lives we must now ultimately begin to run in the right direction to win in the things that we are doing the next one is that you have to learn how to manage emotions okay arising from unexpected downside of executing a decision i'm going to say that again you have to learn how to manage emotions arising from unexpected downsides of executing a decision so when you execute a decision don't just think the decision that you executed we bring perfect result. There are some downside. There are some 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 interests that may not may not have been met, or maybe some you overstress a particular thing, and that can create a lot of challenge for you. So one of the things you want to do is to be able to manage yourself, manage emotions, and then be able to be in the state where you can win and ultimately conquer. You know those emotions that will have driven you in the wrong direction. And of course, let me flip over to the other side because talk about emotional intelligence and evaluation. Evaluation is about assessing the extent of how appropriate the solution you deploy and find out the areas you need to improve when you understand that you now realize that there is no perfect you know problem solving uh, tool you're going to use all the time and that you have to fine tune them you have to mix them you know you know in different ratio to be able to get a particular solution. It's my joy to let you know that with these 10 things, you can solve any problem and then be able to provide transformation for yourself and for other people. I cherish you and I value you. Please join me every Saturday, 9 p.m. on my Facebook page, O City Wisdom, for Wisdom Shift Life. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel, O City Wisdom. I cherish you and I value you.